six in the morning. I've got some some coffee. And we're gonna play some fucking Shia. Oh, no we're not. We have black flags. Alright. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Yay! No more black flags. Now, I never had this problem on my old computer. It's only on this new one with Windows 8. Oh, well. Back to the lands of China. Let's put our speed up. Oh, we have a colonist. Well, it looks like we're already using them already. Well, we've got some diplos. Got some spies that we never use. We have a whole ass load of money, which was just wonderful to get in the la end of the last episode. Avignonis Nationalists. Hmm. Anyway, we have infamy that's going down relatively quickly, mainly because our leader sucks balls. His diplomacy is three, just like our last leader. Oh, I'm so tempted to get an, uh, a dip diplomatic leader, but I can't afford to do that. When you're given the three choices, Pretty much the best choice is always administrative because that affects your your income. And since we need money, that makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna make sure we keep the administration as high as possible. It doesn't it doesn't guarantee you're gonna get a good administrator, but it's a, a better chance than if you pick uh, diplomatic or military. You just kind of have to hope that you get good stats along with the. Hey, we converted Setsu. You have to hope you get good stats along with the uh, administrative ones. But there's no real guarantee. France will cede Belize and Honduras to Huastec. Alright. Very cool. And Huastec has some lands up in North America. And Honduras, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Then we have a builder. So let's do some building. Looks like there was a revolt in Antana, not, Antana Narivo, but we killed it already. Ah, oh, there's still got some invasion going on. The Pope is invading. Yeah, that's good. And these guys are still free. Madagascar. They're still at war with Burgundy, though. But, you know, we could declare... No, we can't. Because we don't have a Casus Belli. Oh, they're a Republic. That's why. Yeah. What about the Maldives? Sultanate. Yeah, we could do them if we wanted. Just to get another little island thing. But all they have is fish. It's not really worth it. Nodged. You have anything cool, Nodged? Let's see. Grain, 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 grain. Grain. Spices. Alright, well the spices are definitely worth it and tea and more spices over here alright well I would definitely go for some of these spices not so much the wool but the spices, oh coffee not tea, my bad, coffee spices and more coffee, alright yeah I think Naj is going to be a nice target just to get some more goods well we'll let our infamy go down a bit more but in the meantime, let's do some building. Let's put some economic buildings down. Spices. Whoa, that is so laggy. There we go. 228, perfect. Just looking for the highest values, so it'll have the most impact. Oh man, the, the trade map mode is always so slow. Brandenburg annexed Polotsk. Wow, look at Brandenburg. They lost all of their western territories in a war with, was it Bohemia? I think it was Bohemia. Bohemia may have spit out uh, Bremen, which is this big chunk, 
They also had to spit out Inhalt, uh, Lunaberg, and I think these guys. Hesse? Maybe Hesse did, didn't have to spit out. But they had to spit out a lot of this stuff over here in the West. And that really weakened them, because this is very profitable territory in the West. But now they've just... They've been doing pretty well in wars in the East now. It's really interesting how things change sometimes. Pope's got Cyprian invasion in North Africa. Why is Cyprus at war with the Pope? Cyprus is involved in two wars. Huh. Oh, they're on France's side. Yeah, that's what it is. I've got buildings to do. Don't bother me with revolts in Maine. Let's find another place with Chinaware that we can upgrade a little bit. No, that's pretty upgraded. What about if we went for the last two for, for business? What does this do? Merchants and trade income. Is that a flat plus eight? That's not that exciting. And merchants and local trade worth plus 30 percent that will be worth it but that would mean forgoing the um, college and cathedral hmm production efficiency plus 10 percent ooh production another plus 10 percent ooh well God, because look, their production is two, 576 ducats income from just production. That might be nice to get those two upgrades. That's thinking with my belly right there. I'm thinking about all that money that we can ingest. What about down here? Chinaware. Oh yeah, we got upgrades to do down here. Don't want to ignore the smaller markets. Chinaware is still Chinaware no matter what market it's in. The Knights have declared independent from Castile here in Smyrna. All right. Revolutionary War on the Knights, that's fine. Batola defected to Serbia. All right. All right, we can finally select a new dude. I'm definitely not going to keep D. Lin. We're going to go for Bureaucrat again, and uh, hopefully we get some good diplomacy with it. We did not. We got the diplomacy, but we didn't get the administration, so now we're going to be hurting for money, even though we're going to be fine on infamy. God damn it. We picked that administrator, and we got a diplomat. Oh well. It happens, right? And these colonies are going to do fine. They're growing slowly. Must be because it's tropical climate. Yeah, minus 25% growth because it's tropical. That's fine. Minus 50% growth. Trade in Aru. Any more Chinaware lying around? Oh, yeah. And spices. Ooh. Those are going to be valuable. How many of the centers of trade do we have over here? Jeez, that's only worth 270. That's worth 570. That's worth 620. That's worth 700. Oh, okay, yeah, you're trading through these. That's worth 580. So they're actually worth a decent amount. Even though they're very small, they must have some really valuable crops. Oh, yeah. Spices, cotton, cotton, spices, spices. Yeah, that's that's a spice market. How 
How are we doing on the war exhaustion? Oh, we're perfect on war exhaustion. Okay. I think that means we need a new war. And I think I definitely chose the wrong fucking national idea by going for Grand Navy, but... Hmm. I mean, it's a good national idea, don't get me wrong, but... I should have just deleted some ships. You know, I really should have. Because now I'm in a situation where we have this vast empire, and I don't really have a navy over here defending it. I've got this navy down here. Oh, not that one. Where's my navy down here? Up here. I've got this navy of 86 ships, which is great, and it's trying to keep all of this patrolled. And we got this navy of 86 ship, ships, which is just to sort of intimidate the the European powers, because I'm pretty sure we have a good navy. Uh, Castile has 74 ships, so we have a bigger navy than the largest navy, the largest competition navy, so that's kind of nice. Let's see, Denmark, Burgundy, ooh, Burgundy. How many troops does Burgundy have? That's a good question. A lot. 272,000. Wow. But we do have almost twice that. We would just have to ship over a lot of dudes if we wanted to fight them. But that doesn't mean they're going to have all their troops in Burgundy proper. They're going to have some down here in Greece. They're going to have some over here in the New World. Although maybe not very many if they have rebels that are successful. I know they have some in California because they've been invading Castile and France from there. And they probably have some in South America. I think this all used to be Aragon territory and Burgundy conquered it from them. Yeah, they got the Aragon flags. Yeah, they took both of these from Aragon. So yeah, they do have some troops scattered across the world, so that means their navy is able to get them there. These are colonies that Burgundy created. That's fine. And then Burgundy has all of Australia. I don't think they had... I think last time we invaded Australia before I lost all my files. I think last time was um, they didn't have much defense there at all. So most of their defense is probably going to... I'm betting it's going to be here in North America and in Maine Burgundy lands. Maybe some in Greece, too. Yeah, no, that they did just invade Castile. So maybe they do have some in Greece, too. I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying to think about who we should kick next. I mean, Burgundy would be great, because these, these provinces up here are so valuable. The lowlands, oh my god. They are insanely profitable. I would love to have them. Discovered Missouri and Kaskaskia. Alright. And we have a builder dude. Let's go back to these places where we found Chinaware. So I can click on them. There we go. Bohemia declared war on Poland. Alright. Although they can only invade this one province. No, that's not true. They're the emperor, aren't they? Yes, then they should be able to go right through Austria to get to the rest of Poland. So they probably will do that. Cuba declared independence. Alright. And they got all of Cuba. Cool. So they're at war with France and Sardinia. Okay. They probably have nothing to worry about over there. Let's see, how's our revolt risk going? Eh, it's pretty bad right there. This is okay, but that's just because we have troops stationed there. Mauritius is pretty bad. What is the revolt risk here? 6.6%. Okay. These places are a little bad. It's fine. And most of it's fine. I think we're fine for the revolt risks. So it'd probably be a good time to go to war. You gotta do something with all that revolt risk just sitting around. Let's get your ass on the boat. I think what we'll do is we'll construct some more uh, transport ships over here. And 
I know I just deleted a whole bunch of them, and yeah, I feel stupid because I'm just building them again. What are you going to do? I never said I was smart. I just want to have some transport ships so that we can get our troops moving back and forth uh, in Asia while our ships are in Europe. Or in other parts of the world, doesn't matter where. Alright, that should be enough for now. Uh, we have an attack navy here. Yep. Let's bring you up this way. Uh, come on up to here. And then we'll decide what to do with you there. Or just go dock in there. We have rights through Morocco. Alright. You guys come on up to... Where would be a good place? Probably just go for all of uh, the proper territory. I like how he's avoiding taking any attrition. Even over here in the Bay of Biscay, he's not going through the Bay of Biscay. He's following the coastline. Even though I didn't tell him to do that. Sometimes the AI knows exactly what kind of route I want. Other times it doesn't care. Other times it's just a dick. More government tech, very cool. You know what? The attack navy. No, not you. The attack navy. Yeah, I want you to come right there and just stop. I want to make sure Burgundy can't get any of its troops through this little pass. Okay, Krakow was annexed by Brandenburg. That's fine. And now we don't actually have enough colonists to keep up with demand. That's awesome. We had, do have a missionary, though. Let us missionize. Um, you know what? I'm not so concerned about Japan, because we have an army patrolling it. What I should be doing is converting the people down here, where we have to keep sending ships back and forth. Or even more better... Yeah, more better. Converting places that we just took over, because... They're going to be a real pain in the ass to get ships over there. Even over here, it's relatively easy to get ships back and forth. But over here, you have to cross an ocean. So I'd rather not do that as frequently. Ah, we do have another building, dude. Let us find another place to put them. Uh, let's go for some spices. Let's go for the actual trade center. There you go. Come on, click it. Click it. There we go. Not as valuable as Chinaware, but still very valuable. Slaves in Odigan, that's fine. Canal in Flores is done, that's great. Let's build a... Uh, oh, Flores. There you go. Let's do uh, Counting House. Yep, production efficiency plus 25%. Very nice. And another builder. Wow, we're getting magistrates like crazy. Uh, let's go for canal. What's that do? Local trade worth 10%. Sure. Bulgaria started the second Bulgarian conquest against the Ottomans. Interesting. Disagreeing advisor. We could lose prestige and have a 25% chance of gaining some random tech. Or... Alderman dies. No, we'll lose the prestige. That's fine. Just give me some random tech points. Alright, so the armies arrived in Normandy. So we have 160,000 troops again, just like the last time we had war. Uh, we will... Should I get more troops? Because Burgundy's got a bigger army than France had. Yeah, I think I should get more troops. So let's take you all the way over here. And we'll get a couple armies down that way. We'll take... We'll take you guys, because you're closest. And then you can switch over to Pegu, and just kind of do that. And you can kind of move right there, to cover that general area. That's fine. 
Wait, were any of you a level... Okay, you know you're 20... 20... No one's 40,000? Alright, good. We're fine. Uh, trade tech went up. Okay. Alright, we now control the... Not control, but we're patrolling the Straits of Gibraltar here. I don't see any... Oh yeah, I do see a Burgundy fleet. Alright. 14th fleet. Doesn't tell me how many ships they have, though. And there's none over here, but they are in the Gulf of Almeria, and they are right here. Ah, it's just one ship. All right. Oh, yeah, we're just going to slaughter them if they want to fight. And we do have an admiral in this fleet. That's great. Uh, uh, we're going to let our transports get by safely before we go to war. Does Burgundy have a fleet? That's a good question. Yeah, they do have a fleet. All right. Another good question. They're in the HRE, aren't they? Hmm, that might be a problem. Allied with Kanat, hey, wow, they have a lot of allies. And the Pope, hmm. Bohemia is the Emperor and will defend them. Bohemia is not really a threat. Hmm, Austria is defend, wow. No, that's a war I don't need right now. It would be Burgundy, Bohemia, Austria, and the Pope against us. Okay, I don't need that. What about something else? Let's go for a non-Catholic. Bremen? They're allied with Austria. Damn it. Denmark. Allied with Sweden, Pomerania, and the Hansa. That's doable. Oh, you know what? Even better. We've got England sitting over here. Motherfucking England. Right, they got crap for allies. You're part of the Empire, aren't you? Yeah, but England is not. Oh yeah, Austria again. Fucking hell. Does Austria have a navy? That's a good question. I'm betting they don't. Or if they do, it's shitty. Yeah, they have three transport ships. What about army? Oh, 154,000. What about England? 119,000. What about England's navy? 43. Okay, so we can control them. That's not really a problem. Hmm. I guess I should have thought of that first, because these motherfuckers are Catholic, and Austria is currently the Catholic defender. Hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to go get those extra troops, and then I'll think about it a little more. That's great. Burgundy annexed Madagascar. Alright, well, that was just this island, Diego Garcia. That's fine. And we have another builder. Let us build on Embalm. So we got slaves and grain. Alright. And another builder. Let's build on Buru. Build everywhere. Oh wow, I have one general in my entire armies. Wow. I'm gonna get some crappy generals, but uh, I need them.
Transports are not bad. Not in bad shape. So we'll just get right on and head over. Oh, looks like there's a new army type. Mixed Order Infantry and Latin Chasseur. Eleven eight nine eight eleven ten. Oh yeah, definitely worth it. And Latin Chasseur ten eight ten six eleven eight. Oh yeah, way better. Cool. So we just got a huge upgrade in our military quality. Uh, our troops are just way better than they used to be. And. I mean, Najd is such an easy target. We could take so many nice, valuable provinces there, but I really want to get in the war with all these European powers. I just do, damn it. I just think it would be endless amounts of fun. USA declare independence. Interesting. Where did they form? Right there. All right. They, they this was Burgundy lands, so they took that. Well, this one I think was England. This was Burgundy. That was Burgundy, and this, yeah, England. That's an interesting event. And we can do some more buildings. Let's do that. Let's go for Tidor. Siram. Just keep building. You're heading over? Yeah. Huh. Castillo wants... Oh, because they're at war. I don't want your war. I would take an alliance with Russia... But they're not inter interested anymore. They've changed their minds. We could kiss uh, Austria's ass a little bit and see if they want to ally with us. That'd be interesting. That would be really interesting. I wonder if they would go to war with Bohemia. They're not allied with Bohemia, are they? No. But the Oh my goodness, look how many allies they have. Well, I guess most of their allies are weak. All these green things are their allies. No, or green are vassals, I think and blue are allies. But they have all these people on their side. They're just not that strong. Bohemia, same sort of thing. They have some vassals and marriages and shit. Alright, so they're not that threatening, really. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Pope. The Pope as well. Don't forget the Pope. want my boats. My boats. Let's go see what Burgundy's got up here. Nothing. Oh, there's a fleet. They're blockading someone, maybe? That war with the USA. And there's some more of their armies. Well, we can prevent them from getting to the USA if we declare war. Where's my navy? Are you guys coming yet? Oh, man, you have a long way to go. Should probably reposition a little bit. Take off, hunt rebels, get over there. I have access to Sweden, right? Yes, I do. I need access to Munster. They said yes, very good. That means we can head right in there. Lol. And we will. Bring you up to Orlean, and you can go to Cal. All right. I 
got two transport navies. I'm about to have three transport navies over here. Four, one, two, three, four, five armies. That's fine. France will cede Uruguay, Copiapo, Jujuy, and Chaco Boreal. All right. And Quebec is independent. Where? Here? No, here? Yeah, there's Quebec. Lol. Man, they got shafted. <laughs> or Quebec. Who are they at war with? France. No. Oh, they got... France pieced them out, so they're free. Oh, so Quebec is going to exist. They shall persist. <laughs>